we teach a robot how to predict a moving object. After that, we teach a robot where to grasp and how to move each arm. I think the main novelty uh, we bring uh, to object catching is, the, is in the way we transfer information from a human to the robot. We call this programming by demonstration. We do not have to explicitly specify the task or the object's motion. Uh, the robot can just observe the task from a human and uh, observe the object flying through the air a number of times to build a model of it and then use this model for catching in real time. The goal is to develop controllers that enable these robots to interact with human inhabited environments where things can change uh, in a fraction of a second. And so they need to be able to leverage on the very fast computer and the very fast motor that drives them. And for that, we need to have controllers that can adapt rapidly to changes. Of course, this controller can be used for many different other applications, um, typically uh, catching people that are in danger of falling, catching objects that may fall onto people. That also applies to any controller for vehicle robots. Here you're seeing an arm robot, but it could also be a car, and car needs to be able to react very rapidly to incoming traffic. And so this is also one of our examples of reacting and catching or avoiding things extremely rapidly.